Mrs. Kariya to Ali for let's say with the preparedness, what that we don't they do and what they want to do for sustain or fund or what the deputy minister want. Don't explain to me. Number one notion is that the government has been paying. It's that they pay Kapawa every month. About 50 million loans. None of the new loans, right? On average, though, especially in the dry months, the bill where they come out, Kapawa loan for CAM, now about, you know, an average good month, 5 million. So you see the gap where they bill every month, right? So over the months, finance also, as a government, been done to make payment. So uh, not to this 17 million will pay in April, not to the only payment. As a matter of fact, if you look in the last six, seven months, we don't pay over 36 million dollars. This is the dollars that they talk. 36 million dollars. So the government been the work when they make payment, right? The last payment we'll make on April 16, 917 million. Back in September 2023, we make another payment of 15 million. As recently as January, February, we made another payment of we total about 4 million. So the government recognized the importance of light. And we in the ministry, we know say we're supposed to pay for light. So we don't assure Kapawa say we need to get back to the negotiating table. So, like the minister said, this weekend, we go go Turkey, we all go see them, uh, break apart the agreement, the contract with they, and we go negotiate, full-blown negotiation, not in order of the table. But again, the current contract, we they look at them for negotiate so that we go reduce the cost of energy, so that we go get a sustainable service and reliable service to our consumers and to all of we. We go include other third party uh, energy suppliers who will go approach also because this problem, yeah, so we know they approach them haphazardly. So the more we get a solution in terms of a reliable, sustainable power supply, the better off we will be.